You look at Aries Spears, and I want to talk about him and his, his thing to Lizzo. Was that off limits, off base? Again, it's a branding thing. Like, that's a Aries Spears brand as right. far as I'm concerned. You know what I mean? Like, he's a guy that take them kind of chances to tell jokes. Right. You know, his sense of humor, it, 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 that's the, the right. that's the space he goes to. So, you know, for him, he was telling the joke. Like, for, for the media and the people, they, you know, we want to get into fat shaming or whatever the, the, the topic of the, the day is, right? So you can you can at least easily offend anybody at any time. Right. So that's the that's the point I think for me. I don't you know I think it's distasteful. It just ain't my taste. Right. But so but I. But if you make a joke that. about someone, theoretically, you can offend every joke you tell that happens to be about someone can it, be offensive. It, 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 whether you talk about someone's speech impediment, exactly. whether you talk about the way they walk, the way it, they look. Exactly. So you can offend if somebody wants to be offended. They yeah. can be offended by what you say. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, you, we was talking about this the other day because on Kings of Comedy, B Mac, late great yeah. Bernie Mac, he got a whole joke about a re uh, you know yeah, a, a, dis a challenge dis disability. Yes, yes made a challenge. Right? Yeah. You, you can't say none of that now. Right, right. You couldn't do no parts of that joke. He right. called the little boy, the the the, the, the kids, yeah, and, and all the kids that was growing you up. Know. He just nieces and nephews right. called him the F word. Yeah, right. You can't do none of that right. no more. But these things was exactly at that time considered funny. Right. So if you start to retro people of what they said and how they said it or what they said in life, and now here we go charging them for the crime today. That is, you know, that's a hard thing to do to someone who's supposed to be speaking freely. Let me, I'm going to continue on this, but I want to go back. Pryor, Murphy, some of the guys and the joke that they told back then, how would they survive in today's climate? Dude, we watched, <laughs> we watched Delirious the other day. We like, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. We used to start counting off jokes like ain't wouldn't be there, wouldn't be there. Eddie Murphy ain't really that good. <laughs> you know, you find you get you find yourself trapped in that story. Yeah. Like if I had to take off all the jokes Eddie Murphy couldn't say nowadays, right. you'd be like, eh. oh, yeah. But that's the that's the difference, yeah. right? Climate, the times we live in, what's acceptable in society. And we've just got to a point again, we just have a lot more exposure to each other. We have a lot more growth that's happened as people. Right. So sensitivity, awareness about, you know, things that just wouldn't be acceptable. You know, none of, none of the gay culture would be acceptable, you know, like back then, right. you know, none of it, none. You know, let, alone, let alone the, the, how it's grown into, you know, multiple letters, you right. know what I mean? So that is, that's something that just was, you you have to understand this is the world that we live in and then you as a, as a person growing and accepting and understanding that we live in a great big wide world and that's the thing and i think if people literally just truly trusted that part right. then you wouldn't you wouldn't have to you know you know castigate against anybody that was different than you you don't really care tiffany haddish um says that she lost everything yeah and it was because of some old skits Cause it kind of like she kind of like Aries Spears said what he said about Lizzo. They went back and started dragging up skits that she was involved in, yeah. and then she kind of got dragged into something that she really didn't have anything to do with. And it's like, oh, but you remember? And you know, uh, this came out, and somebody yeah. wanted to sue her, and then the charges were dropped, but the damage is already done. Yes, yes. That, I mean, that's you know, and again, those are the things that you know. Again, we live in accusatory point point the finger at you first. And then you have to. Deal and it's with guilty. That. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not no longer you know innocent until proven no. guilty. You're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, and and, and and anything like I say, I could throw you the you know I could throw you anything out there, in out of context of like how it was shot, when it was shot, what right. it was about, and then and if you saw it as that thing raw, you're gonna be like, oh man, that's terrible. Which again, to us today. Uh, that that particular joke just was distasteful. I don't know right. exactly who would even have shot that, but, right? You know, or thought that was funny thought, at, even at, at any the time. time. At, at any time, but however, you know, somebody thought it was funny, right? And they did it, right? So 
you know, and now here it is, you know, this many years later, and it, you know, adversely affect her for real. Right. Like it hit her career in a real way, man. So, have you uh, talked to her? Has she? I that? reached out to her. We text back and forth when it first happened. You know, of course, these are not the times when people want to just be taking a hundred phone calls. But, right. You know, she knows that I got love for her, and you know, just really just trying to make you know, in my you know, just wanting you know, wanting the case to be, of course, if if, if it was. Uh, really a bad case against her, just really rooting for her. That's all, you know, that's all, I, that's all I can say. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.